Under the command of General Hooker, a Union army of 130,000 men crossed the Rappahannock River on April 27, 1863. They advanced upon the Confederates led by Robert E. Lee. Lee's army numbered less than half as many men as Hooker's and were not nearly as well supplied or well rested. But one of Lee's commanders, Jeb Stuart, received word from one of his scouts that there was a weakness in the Union's right wing. With reinforcements failing to arrive in time and the enemy starting to encircle him, Lee made a bold and risky decision. Lee ordered one of his most daring generals, Stonewall Jackson, to strike out at dawn with his troops. Under the cover of the wilderness, they would march for 12 miles and strike a sudden and decisive blow against the Union's vulnerable right flank. Over here! They're coming my way! Wake up, soldier. Take your position. Get ready, man. Wait until they're closer. Don't waste ammo we don't got. One shot, one hit! One shot, one hit! They're bringing up cannons! I need a little backup over here! you made here, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I sent you on a scouting expedition, soldier. I didn't expect you to draw the attention of the entire army of the Potomac. No, sir. I take full responsibility, sir. So why do I find you barricaded in this church with a pile of Union corpses around it? Sorry, sir. I just want to make sure there are no Yanks around the church before heading to the furnace. I see you found a few, didn't you? Great so, sir. And you don't seem to be too unhappy about it either. No, sir. We're Rangers. We ain't afraid of a few Yankees. Well done, Lieutenant. Continue your mission. Check the furnace for enemy troops and the possibility of supplies. Oh, and Lieutenant? Yes, sir? Next time when you engage the enemy, try and leave more for us. Will do, sir. <laughs>
Easy boy. Stay close. See their camp.
Dear Lord, what happened? I don't know for sure. He's wounded. Someone shot him. He gonna survive? He's gotta survive. We need him. <laughs>